not be professional. It's a great story, and I hope you are able to understand the story. We'll try to be quiet and clear at the same time. But uh, we just want to uh, give honor and glory to God and uh, to remember what the season's all about. And uh, appreciate all the work and volunteering effort behind the scenes and all the people that you see uh, here tonight. And um, four years ago, three or four Christmases ago, uh, a young girl who is still with us, now a teenager, call her girl, uh, invited uh, her neighbors, 70-year-old couple, to come to one of these events. And, um, and so they came. And afterwards, they, they heard me speak about the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. And um, the man said to me, I'd like to talk to you more about that. And so I had gone to his home in January and visited with him a little bit. And then uh, he and his wife came to church after the Super Bowl because the Broncos were playing. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be good. They lost anyway. My Seahawks. But anyhow, uh, he, he and his wife came to church and they got saved. They, they, they learned the gospel for themselves. They trusted Christ as their Savior. So tonight, that young teenage girl and the 70 some year old couple are all singing together up here tonight. And uh, so that's a neat behind the scenes story. But anyhow, uh, we praise the Lord. We praise the Lord for the opportunity to, uh, to share this story. And I hope it will be a blessing to you as well. Two quarters would pay for a dinner in a nice restaurant, 
and many workers made less than a dollar an hour. Hurry up, kids. It's time to eat. We're going to be late for church. What's for supper, Mom? I'm starved. Peanut butter sandwiches and beans. Peanut butter again? I wish I lived next door to Johnny. Last night, he got two whole hamburgers for supper. Mom, my hair looks awful. Like usual. Just sit down and eat here. I will help you after supper. Can I have a glass of real milk? Please. Sorry, Sammy. That milk is safe for something special. Just get a can of milk from the cupboard and mix it with water. It's just as good. You're right, Mom. I can hardly tell the difference anymore. You could have been normal, Becky. The name's Rebecca, little brother. Rebecca? Since when? All right, that's enough, kids. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this food, but most of all, we thank you for our salvation. We pray that you would bless our time, and I just pray that you help us to be kind to each other as we eat this delicious supper. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Christmas was always a pretty sparse affair around our house, but Mom did her best. Each one of us prized the small gifts that she put under the tree. Usually, we get tangerines, hard candy, and maybe a toy from the Salvation Army. We didn't have much. Of course, neither did anyone else we knew. But we did have the Lord. And you know what we found out? The Lord is good in every one of his children.
much of our lives revolved around the local church four blocks north of our apartment. We loved it there. The music, the preaching, the wonderful people. We used to live for Sundays and Wednesday nights. If the doors were open, wild horses couldn't keep us away. I especially remember Pastor Thomas. He was my hero. Lord has been mighty good to our little church this year, hasn't he? Now I know we may not have all the things we'd like to have, but we are truly rich in Jesus. Why, in just the last six months, we've had three families reached for the Lord. And did you know that the average person sitting here tonight is wealthier than 90% of the people in the rest of the world? Yes, we may not have everything we want, but we should be thankful for the greatest gift that was ever given to us. The Lord Jesus, almost 2,000 years ago, came from heaven to earth. Jesus. 